Good evening and welcome to another episode of the Seattle Shoot Light. Hope you are enjoying these episodes um, where I show variety of shoes and uh, give you a little bit of guidance on what to pair it with and uh, the durability, value for money, as well as uh, the type, the style, and the variations. So today I have a special ep episode. I'm not only going to review two pairs of shoes in this episode, but these are two pairs in the past 15 years that I have worn the most. And these are two pairs that I have got resold. One of them I got resold for the first time, and the other one I had re got it resold twice. So the first one I would like to show is a pair that I have got resold twice and it's still going on as a tag. I can wear it for another 10 years. So this pair of Shell Cordovans by Alan Edmonds. Because it's about 15 years old, I actually did put an insole uh, because the insole has been worn out quite quite a bit so i have a leather and cloth beautiful insole german made uh, that i use that works very well it came with a double sole leather sole but i got my recent uh, resole was done with a white brown sole so it this is shell thought around that's hot it's a horse membrane beautiful shine once you get it polished up uh, i've used this pair for 15 years if you can notice the inside it's uh, wearing down quite a bit but i hope to use this for another five to ten years and i'm sure it'll last because it's horse leather and shell thought and shoes but this is a pair of alan edmonds so um if i always put your shoe horns that's a split toe beautifully made brand new vibram soles and uh, a pair of uh, shell thought and color 8 alan edmonds now the other pair uh, of shoes i'm going to show is a pair that i got resold for the very first time it's a pair of edward greens uh, black single mons um, but this is why and it came with lasted shoe trees so uh, these shoes run about two thousand dollars now but uh, actually about fifteen hundred i think but these shoes will last a long time i got this resold off almost after 14 years of wear got a brand new sole jr remember the sole metal toe tip and uh my name was in brass these shoes are made in england northampton by edward breen beautiful pair of shoes and you can see them side by side um, i mean once you give them a nice shine they look stunning and this is a pair that i have worn i probably wore this for the last uh, 14 years before i sent it for a resole about three times a week so i would wear this about three times a week and the other pair about two times those two are my most predominant shoes during the day so about six to eight hours i would wear them a day i never wear the same pair of shoes two days in a row unless i am traveling and i have to and then in for the evening i would change shoes and uh, go out for dinner so those were the variety of shoes i wore in the evening a special shout out to bedos leatherworth steve from bedos he did the resoling and if you notice it's beautifully done uh, he used jr adam but the uh, soles did a beautiful workmanship on the toe got my initials um, etched in little brass nails beautiful work done and it is good as new 
right he knew this is a pair of Edward Greens he took care of it and did a splendid job he also did the vibram sole for my shell thought events and uh, I can't ask for anything better my only disappointment with Steve is he's in Virginia and I'm in Seattle so I have to ship my shoes to him to get this done but if you ever want some work done send it to Steve at Bedos he does some phenomenal work I call him an artist because uh, my wife had a pair of uh, bad uh, potato Venetia um, bad uh, made of patent leather and it was cracking and the leather was falling apart I had an idea on how to restore it and Steve executed it perfectly so he actually made a video on restoring that bad it's a potato Venetia bad uh, take a look at it on YouTube if not I hope you enjoyed it uh, again for those who are buying a formal shoe for the first time I would highly recommend a single month instead of a cap to Oxford everyone thinks a cap to Oxford is the way to go I would recommend a single month black plain toe even if you have a cap toe it's okay because this shoe can be worn formally as well as uh, casually and another pair would be the shell thought vans burgundy is the most versatile color because you can wear it with black brown gray blue uh, linen and so forth so the color of burgundy or what they call the shell thought van color eight would be another versatile shoe Helen Edmonds shell thought events run around $800 I think it's fully worth it and Edward Green's uh, shoes of this caliber runs around $1,500 today in the US but um, if you think about it $1,500 uh, for almost 15 years it's $100 a year which is not bad at all and the more you wear it the beautiful the patina gets created well, thank you for listening. Hope you enjoyed this episode and looking forward to doing another one. Thanks.